Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and no bumper, we're going to get straight into it. So 133 favorite artists. So what's the criteria? It's down below, but basically it's 80 minute playlists that I made of all these artists. I ranked them, listened to them again, re-ranked them. And then there's, uh, have I seen the band in concert? What's my live experience? Do I, do I like to read articles? Do I read books, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, number 110 today, and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I love rankings. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. I also have a Patreon page below if you want to contribute. Uh, but just being on here, this is original content, not copyrighted. So, you know, I might make four or five cents out of this video. So I appreciate your watching. <laughs> Anyway, number 110 is a classic rock band. Yeah, I like all eras. I like music from before I was born. I like classic rock, and I like the 21st century. So this is a band that started really recording proper in 1967, but they were around for a long time before that. But they recorded as a uh, band for 30 years. And four of the five members have now crossed the Rainbow Bridge. Yeah. Four of them are from Ontario, Canada, and the fifth member from rural Arkansas. So maybe you figured it out already. The one who's still alive is Garth Hudson, and the ones who have passed away are Rick Danko, Richard Manuel, Levon Helm, and uh, Robbie Robertson, the most recent. So, yeah, um, we're talking about the band. And this is considered Americana, folk rock, and roots rock. Love them. Of course, I never saw them. They pretty much, uh, I, you know, I guess I could have, but they were, you know, they kind of quit the first time in the 70s. I was pretty young. So a lot of this music is really from when I was a kid, so I don't remember it firsthand. And I really didn't care for this kind of music a, a lot in high school and college, but as I got older, I really began to appreciate this band and some other roots rock bands. As I, um, you know, I kind of grew up on progressive rock and new wave. And then later I kind of went back and discovered the blues and different older forms of music, standards, jazz, and really kind of reshaped. Um, you know, then I came back to classic rock with a new appreciation of where all that music came from. So, no, never saw them live, but I own seven uh, CDs of theirs, so I'll show you what those are. I've got music from Big Pink. Okay, if you can see that, the light's shining on it a little bit. I have got a remastered copy of the band, their eponymous uh, EP or, or LP. And then I've got uh, Stage Fright, which is really a good, really a good CD. And then I've got an anthology called um, To Kingdom Come, the definitive collection. So that's two CDs. And this is Killer. Um, it's got maybe a couple throwaway tracks on it that they weren't bonus tracks, but a couple unreleased songs that might be unnecessary. But all in all, this is creme de la creme. Uh, later, they would have anthologies that might have been higher audio quality. But I think this is still the best one for a song selection. And then I have the last waltz. Uh, which I also own on DVD. I didn't pull that out, but I also have the the concert on, on DVD. So, uh, yeah, I've got quite a bit of that seven discs of the band plus a double uh, DVD. I didn't buy the deluxe one that came out later, but that's it. I love the band and uh, some of my favorite songs here. I've got a playlist uh, below, a link to my playlist. But obviously, I like the weight. The weight is just killer. And then uh, Rag Mama Rag, the night they drove old Dixie down up on Cripple Creek. The Shape I'm In, Jemima Surrender. 
Um, and I, I really like um, Ophelia and Acadian Driftwood. These are some uh, later tracks. So that's it. I appreciate your joining me. I have really come to appreciate this band a lot over the years. And obviously, they were super influential. There's a huge Wikipedia article. You can read it. Uh, by the way, in my, all my playlists, if you look in the notes, I have a link to each artist's Wikipedia page. So all you have to do is click on that, and it'll take you right there, and you can read up uh, all about them. But see how they influenced everyone from Elton John to Eric Clapton to you know, just everybody. And that's it, as we say here in Bonita, Mexico. Buen dia. <laughs>